When first I saw Edward sing color, he was a grown a boy. And I working for Peters, with them he found employ. His cheeks were as red as roses, and his hair it was a dark brown. And just a handsome young man as walked Newcastle town. And it being in the days of due bills when cash was scarce to all. When going in to business, his means was rather small. He planned his way quite cheerfully with a heart so light and gay. Then the dollars they came rolling in, and his men he loved to pay. And he was skilled in the art of mill work at the time which he did reign. And when he was defeated, he would always try again. When the railroad it was building in those days of hearty he took his seat where two rivers meet on the banks of Miramichi. He built a boat, the William M., as you will plainly hear. For to haul on the northwest river, for to keep his lumber clear. One day it called his attention, I'm sorry for to say. And as he could not check, the William M. and quite soon did pass away. His two fine sons, which I know quite well, do carry out his skill. And one is handsome Hubert and the other one is Bill. They run the firm quite manfully, as far as I can see. And their talent clerk, who pays their crew, is Eugene Connolly. They ship by rail and from their wharf all for a foreign shore. It is nice for to see those lumber boats as they come sailing o'er. While Bridgestone folks stand on the 
appear for to lend a helping hand. Down there foreman Edward Creamer to instruct them where to land. So now I guess I have said enough and I lay my pen away. Concerning Edward Sinkler, I have no more to say. For I know that he is happy, this kind-hearted, self-made man, who toiled his way to riches and is in a better land.